So a key question in climate science is, how much global warming should we expect for a given increase in the atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide? And one strategy for attempting to answer this question is to increase greenhouse gas concentrations in a mathematical climate model and have it calculate, based on our best physical understanding of the system, how much warming we should get. The problem is that there's no consensus on how to best model many key aspects of the climate system, so different models give us different answers to this question. And in fact, there's about a factor of two difference between the models that project the most global warming and the models that project the least. So a central goal of our study was to narrow this range of uncertainty in future warming and to assess whether the upper end of the range or lower end of the range is more likely. So the main idea that's emphasized in our study is that the models that are going to be the most skillful in their projections of future warming should also be the most skillful in other contexts, like simulating the recent past. So with this idea in mind, we can then use observations of the recent past to identify the models that are most skillful and essentially shift the projections of the future such that they emphasize the behavior of these more skillful models. So specifically, we use spatial patterns of the Earth's energy budget to assess models. And we found that the models that simulate these spatial patterns most skillfully tend to simulate more warming in the future than the average model does. So this means that combining information from models and observations tells us that we should expect more warming with less uncertainty than we would if we were just looking at the models by themselves and ignoring observations. So as an example, using the steepest future emission scenario, the RCP 8.5 emission scenario, the raw model projections, like those used in the IPCC reports, look like this. And our projections that incorporate information from observations look like this. So one point that's worth making here is that it's sometimes argued that climate model projected global warming should be taken less seriously due to the fact that climate models are imperfect in their simulation of the current climate. Our study confirms important model observation discrepancies and ample room for climate model improvement. However, we show that models that simulate the recent past the best in terms of Earth's energy budget tend to produce more global warming than the average model over the remainder of the 21st century. Thus, it makes little sense to dismiss the most severe global warming projections because of model deficiencies. On the contrary, our results suggest that, if anything, model shortcomings can likely be used to dismiss the least severe projections.